Hi everyone, this is Flo and you have maybe seen my previous video about how to unlock the bootloader and this is the first step before to start this video, you must have the, the unlocked on your bootloader uh, device. You must have a cable, you must be patient, you must um, be responsible because I am not responsible for what you do and I will show you how to uh, flash a recovery on your HTC One. You have to go on this uh, on this thread on XDA device essential res recovery and this is recovery which interpret me. On recoveries you have three different recoveries. The HTC one stock, if you want to flash it again, the recovery clockwork mode touch and the uh, TWRP. I will use the clockwork mode touch. You have to download it. So go to the uh, to the link like that. Clockwork Touch with OTG USB support, this is perfect. Uh, video tutorials, mine is coming maybe. Download the classic or the touch, uh, I prefer to use the touch because it's uh, easier. You get goo.img uh, file and you have to download it, wait a few seconds. Then you go to the guide, complete flashing guide, routine going back to stock from Mike 1986. You go to uh, flashing custom recovery then I am downloading it and you read it. Download the custom recovery of your choice and we name it recovery.img. So you have to do that. Uh, you have maybe already used the C double dash, double point dash mini SDK. Um, I am not using it, I am using Android SDK Windows backslash tools. So this is the same location as mini SDK. Okay, this is where you found uh, your different files, your, your different files, excuse me, as fastboot.exe, agb.exe, and agbwinap.gll. Okay, uh, you must know that after flashing custom recovery, you can always revert to your stock recovery. This procedure will be described later. Your bootloader needs to be unlocked. Locked or relocked bootloaders can't flash custom recovery. This operation will cause your bootloader to show temporary text below unlocked. For safety reasons, first what you should to do uh, is an Android backup inside recovery. You might need it during going back to stock procedure. So it means you have to download the recovery and at least uh, do an Android backup. An Android backup is a file that you are able to flash uh, to go back to the stock of your phone. So um, I don't know what to say uh, during this time I am downloading it and when you are downloading that uh, you can maybe I don't know go to my website I don't know if you you know it I get a website this is flowwolf.net uh, you know this one that's there um, my website on my website you get a lot of things about the HTC one uh, some tips and tricks like that and tips and tricks uh, you get also some reviews for um, for accessories for your phone um, you get some uh, tips and tricks some earphones uh, you get that for the HTC One the double jib flip case review uh, the other, how to use the OTG also and other things you know you get uh, the HTC One uh, article just there. Yes, I'm doing that but because I'm waiting for uh, the downloading of the recovery. Uh, you can discover the phone in English, for example, press it and you get some things just there with uh, welcome to uh, the HTC One, what you must know. Uh, you get it, you get the introduction, discover the HTC One, blink feed, uh, the notification bar, how to add it and add um, power uh, toggles, uh, accessories and other stuff. I also get a YouTube channel and then after that okay this one uh, this is my YouTube channel 10 seconds and then I start uh, 8, 7, 6 so this is my YouTube channel you know um, I get two and uh, 2,000 subscribers continue and 1 uh, million views so just continue like that you get some things on my on about different phones as the case mate and others okay so uh, I downloaded the recovery so once it's done we can close 
uh, some windows this one maybe also you get it you go to the uh, location of this recovery this one uh, you have to switch the name you can use recovery.amg uh, I will not change it because I have a lot of different recoveries you have to copy and paste it on the SDK um, SDK folders mine is this one you uh, should have the mini SDK maybe mine is tools this one paste it there as you can see I have different recoveries and a lot of recovery that's why I don't change the name of this one I will just say uh, recovery and this is the one recovery this one then you have to go uh, on CMG this one and you have to enter uh, this CG maybe U is this one mini SDK just that maybe for you mine is something else this is where is my uh, my location SDK uh, windows backslash tools I use it because it's easier for me I do that for a few years now so this, this is better okay so you get it um, you have to go there connect your device to the computer boot your device in a fast boot just there you get the H boot press power to go to the fast boot there connect your phone like that and you get face boot USB just here and continue with that um, open up command prompt start run CMG start run there and CMG you get that and you enter this code CG uh, there CG C uh, double point backslash mini SDK for you mine is this one okay um, now you have to enter a new uh, command this command is fastboot why fastboot because our phone is working on fastboot then you have to enter uh, boot there because we are booting something and then the name of the recovery your is maybe recovery.amg if you don't want to uh, lose your name you press the double dash this one you know with uh, double arrows the thing like that you know this one and this one next the A and it switch the name just there uh, mine is v1 recovery one touch there and press enter when you get it it's done loading the recovery and you get that with this message just there don't worry so you get that and here is the recovery when you get it the first thing you say you do is press backup and restore and you press backup your phone is just saving your system it's a complete backup of your phone just before doing something when you complete it you copy the file which is on clockwork mode you copy it to your computer to save that with that you are able to go back to stock if you don't do it uh, ask someone if he get these files or uh, you are dead okay uh, continue when it's doing that we could continue to read it uh, command above will not permanently flash re uh, custom recovery but I will just boot it why because that way we can back up your original stop recovery image before we replace it with custom one perform an android backup that's what our phone is doing this thing you know just there excuse me wait <coughs> ah thanks uh, after an Android backup is done, reboot the device in fast boot mode again. So we have to wait that. And then in the command prompt, type another one which is. Uh, we you can just uh, enter it, but don't press uh, enter. Fast boot flash recovery with the name of the recovery. Mine is still the same. Fast boot flash recovery and then v1 this one okay wait we get the generating mg5 sum wait for that and in few seconds 
Get it. Backup complete. You are able to. Uh, where is it? Inside uh, the store. Free and use backup to external SD card. No. Uh, go back there. Mount uh, storage. You are maybe able to. <laughs> mount SD card. Uh, maybe don't do that. No, you don't have to do that. Right now, you will do that later. Okay, so uh, we go there. Advanced, um, not reboot recovery. Okay, wait, I am searching how I can do that. Okay, so just um, reboot on, uh, on fast boot mode, press that, and press the power button, uh, volume done, and then wait, and, and press the power button at the same time. Your phone will reboot, you will see uh, something there. Okay, like that. This is a hard reboot. I do that. Okay, you get it. Your phone is just touching on fast on H boot. Press uh, this button to get the fast boot. Wait, face boot USB. And then you already have entered uh, this sentence fast boot flash recovery recovery.img and press enter. No, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. Do that, press enter. Sending recovery, okay, and watching recovery. And now we are able to go to the recovery. So let's go back to bootloader with power button and select with volume button the recovery and press power to go to the recovery. And here is our complete recovery. Maybe on mountain storage, still not. Okay, go back. Okay, so we get with our recovery and we can flash custom ROM from there. So thanks to have seen this video, now we will root our phone to be able to do more things. Thanks, that was Flow.